This is Huawei's top-end flagship the P60 Pro, and this is Samsung's best flagship ever the Galaxy S23 Ultra, and today, they'll be going head-to-head -head against each other in this extremely detailed speed test due to certain restrictions, the Huawei is running a 4G version of the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 CPU with a max clock speed of 3.19 GHz, while the Samsung is rocking Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon 182 chipset with a max clock speed of 3.36 GHz as it's been customized for Galaxy, the Samsung is kit with the latest LPDDR5X RAM and UFS. 4.0 storage, while the Huawei House's last gen UFS 3.1 storage and LPDDR5 RAM the Huawei also packs in less RAM at 8 gigs, as opposed to the Samsung's 12 gigs, they have both been updated to their latest available software, and since they offer different animations, I've removed all animations on both devices, which one of these incredible flagships has what it takes to come out on top, this is Technic, and without further ado let's find out things off with a simple boot, to see round 1, boot and biometrics, which one can power on quickest, and it is indeed the Samsung here, with just over 20 seconds, as opposed to just over 21 seconds on the Huawei, but going into the phone refreshing the app icons, getting to the Home screen the Huawei, after the Samsung, are both one points apiece here now testing out the fingerprint sensor, don't look at the icons, or the transition, over here focus. On the wallpaper, and the Huawei was quicker too, out of three times they're picking up at second points in the first round, here now testing out facial recognition, the Samsung kind of shows it first, but the Huawei unlocks first every single time best, three out of three. Picking up its third and final points in the boots and biometrics section, now I lux meter readings, battery, percent and temps at the start. I'm checking the lux meter readings here to make sure they're set to the exact same brightness levels so that we can get accurate battery drain levels at the end of the test, they are sitting at 70 on the Huawei 71 on the Samsung will compare this at the end, and in terms of degrees Celsius they're sitting at around 30 degrees Celsius at the start once again, we'll compare this at the end round 2, app speed test, benchmarks and gaming, to see how much they gained going into. The first step here in the speed test, round 2 over here, they were both equal at going into the clock app and going to the world clock and the stopwatch as well no points were allocated within the first system map of the year, but hopping into calculator, which one is it gonna be is it going to be the Samsung or the Huawei, going into that one it is indeed the Samsung picking up its first points in the speed test section over here now doing a simple calculation between the two which one is gonna get the final result faster, and it was way too close to call. So no point was allocated over here now we're going to be going into our third system app here, that in the camera app we only have four system apps, and then we move on to rendering apps. And then we go to third-party apps, and going into the camera app the Samsung picked up its second point flipping to the selfie cam, however the Huawei picked up its first points, and taking the snap. The Huawei decided to pick up its second points here, since it saved the picture to gallery at the bottom left-hand corner quicker than that of the Samsung now going into gallery itself, to find that picture that we just took the Samsung picks up its third point going. Against the gallery very quicker, and his fourth point going into the actual photo we just took quicker than that of the Huawei now we're going into our first non-system app here that being Photoshop. Express, so that we can export the photo that we just took the Samsung now has four points, the Huawei has three points. And jumping into the actual photo, the Samsung picks up its fifth point, now we're going to be exporting both of them, to gallery, and it was a neck and neck, they literally exports it at the exact same time as it showed at the bottom of their displays, so no point was allocated. Now going into Adobe Rush over here a video editing app, which one can do it quicker, it is indeed the Huawei picking up its fourth points, and going into the project this time, it is the Samsung picking up its sixth point, very neck and neck here back and forth, but going and exporting this 4K 25 frames per second clip in my last speed test video that I did where the Samsung went up against the Xiaomi, the Samsung took almost a minute to render and the Xiaomi took about 12 seconds, the Huawei now took just under 11 seconds with slower off storage as opposed to the Samsung which did it in 49 seconds and I did this multiple times. I kept getting the same. Results so Samsung just does not really. 
Mesh or work well with Adobe Rush, now going into Spotify a music streaming app popping into that one it is indeed the Huawei, which picks up the points it goes into the app quicker, and jumping into the song that we're currently playing in. The background the Huawei picks up its seventh point now, for the first time it is indeed ahead of the S23 Ultra jumping into Google Chrome over here not exactly Huawei's forte, the Samsung picks up its seventh point, now matching that with the Huawei and doing a simple search within Chrome it was too close to core, so both of them sticking with seven points apiece in the speed test section that. Being round two of the speed test now we're hopping into our first social media app, that being Facebook, jumping into that one it is indeed the Samsung, which pulls ahead here, with its eight. Point now points ahead of the Huawei, and jumping into my profile once again way too close to court, I did think the Samsung was gonna perform a lot better than the Huawei here, since it is using a much more improved next-generation chip and next-generation storage and RAM modules, but going into Instagram over here, the Samsung did indeed pick up its ninth points and go into my profile once again too close to call many too close to call situations over here between the Samsung and Huawei though they did both. Released this year, the Samsung does have new tech in and going into Twitter once again too close to call hopping into my profile again once again too close to call I can't get over how close it is. But things are going to change pretty rapidly as you'll see right now starting with TikTok, the Samsung picks up its first double-digit point, that being 10 points going into TikTok playing the video quicker, and going to my profile, it was once again too close to call, between the two devices, and jumping into our next app, that being YouTube now of course you can't get YouTube natively on. The Huawei, so going into it, we're using a side-loaded app, known as Gboxit. Still gets in fairly quick actually just. Behind the Samsung, but the Samsung did. Indeed pick up its 11th point because of. That, and going into my profile the Samsung picks up its 12 point my channel. That is be sure to check out more contents of mine off this now hopping into Netflix over here it was extremely close and it usually is neck and neck. But this time, the Samsung picks up its 13th point but going into a profile was way too close to call over there not. Going into our first benchmark of two. We're starting with Geekbench version. Six now I did replace my older speed. Test I had Geekbench version five. I've replaced it with version six. They both went into it at the exact same time now. We're gonna hit run CPU benchmark on both devices and Geekbench version five usually takes about two minutes to complete this takes about five minutes so it does affect the battery drain within this video slightly more the samsung did finish more than 10 seconds quicker than that of the huawei and slightly higher single and multi-core only slightly for a chipset that is new in this generation really good to see Huawei is still packing quite a fair amount of score over there and now going into 3D Mark Wildlife Extreme the Samsung went into the actual benchmark quicker than that of the Huawei picking up its 15th point now 7 points ahead of the Huawei Wildlife Extreme is the same as regular wildlife but it renders at 4K so it's a bit more strenuous and now even though the Samsung does pick up a higher score than the Huawei the Huawei actually finished quicker and since this is a speed test it was indeed allocated the points over their picking up its ninth points just six points behind that of the Samsung it's gonna have to do something crazy with these last four apps and they are all games Going into our first not too heavy game. That being Subway Surfers, the Samsung came out on top of the Huawei here with just over four seconds as opposed to just over five seconds on the Huawei. Picking up at 16th point there for the Samsung 9 point store on the Huawei, jumping into a slightly more demanding 
Game that being asphalt, 9 legends the. Samsung did it in under 20 seconds the. Huawei did it in over 20 seconds Samsung. Picks up another point over there and. Hopping into the game within it actually. Getting to play the game the Samsung. Decides to go a smidge quicker, but just. A little bit quicker than that of the. Huawei picking up its 18th point now. More than double exactly double that of. The Huawei P60 Pro and going into our. Last two games of the 20 here last two. Games of the four last two apps of the. 20 hopping into Call of Duty Mobile here does take a little bit longer to load. Than the previous games that we tested. Out just under 30 seconds for the. Samsung and we got almost 40 seconds on. The Huawei Samsung picked up its 19. Point not 10 points ahead of that of the. Huawei and jumping into the practice. Range over here which one is going to do. It quicker this time it is indeed the. Huawei P60 Pro picking up its 10th point but it is still 9 points shy of the. S23 Ultra here and they are very. Similarly priced devices and we do have. 4G with the Huawei but the Huawei does. Take incredible pictures, the Samsung. Does as well make sure you check out one. Of my camera comparisons after this. Going into our last APR, last game that. Being free fire the Samsung picks up its. 20th point once again doubled in that of. The Huawei and it picks up its 21st. Points ending off the speed test section. Of this video with a more than double. Win over the Huawei which is impressive. To say the least on this beast of a. Samsung flagship now we're going into. Round 3, RAM management test. The RAM portion of this video and. Hopping into that one they both kept. Free fire open now in terms of. Allocating points within the section I. Do go in a reverse order if they both. Keep the app open no points is allocated. If they both kill the app like you saw. Right there no points is allocated that. Was asphalt by the way hopping into. Subway surfers both of them kept it open. And going into 3D mark both of them kept. It open the only way they can actually. Get allocated to points is if one of. Them keeps it open and the other one. Kills it so far they are going neck and. Neck especially with YouTube surprise too. See Huawei decided to keep that one open. But going into TikTok something weird. Happened over here it actually kicked me. Back so I decided to go back into it and. The Huawei actually did close it and. Have to reopen so the Samsung picked up. It's first points over there, but they did. Keep majority of the apps open together. Of uh, that being Facebook as well as Google. Chrome over here they both kept my. Search there and going into Spotify they. Actually both killed it so no point was. Allocated going into Adobe Russia the. Samsung kept it open the Huawei killed. It's so the Samsung picks up its second. Points in this section same with. Photoshop over here with the Samsung. Picking up its third points and its. Fourth point going into gallery where. The Huawei decided to kill that now they. Both decided to kill the camera app over. Here but they did save the last mode. Used going into calculator they kept. That open and they also kept the clock. App open as well ending the speed test. Final scores, battery drain and temperature gain. Off with a win toward the Samsung with a. Total score of 26 points as opposed to. The 13 points on the Huawei but I'm. Still impressed with the Huawei since. It still stayed neck and neck with the. Samsung and it did better in terms of. Battery here with a lower mini amp hour. Per minute drain reading as opposed to. The Samsung which has a larger battery. But the Samsung did have cooler temps. 
Overall which is always good to see now. I am very impressed with the Huawei. Considering it stayed on par with the Samsung which is using a new and more beefed up chipset as opposed to the Huawei using a lost generation overclock chipset that being the Snapdragon 8 Plus. Gen 1 CPU, they are both incredible. Flagship devices, and I love them both. For different reasons, but at the end of the day the Samsung still performs quicker in the speed test portion of this video let me know your thoughts of both of these devices as well as which one you prefer, are you team Huawei or team Samsung this is Technic and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.